Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrink. Under the patronage of the chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the first Bahrain International Conference on HIV organized by the Ministry of Health in cooperation with Education Plus concluded yesterday. During the two days of the conference, uh, the participants discussed many medical scientific papers that dealt with health tools and procedures related to how to deal with HIV. They praised the experience of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its adoption of various preventative programs in general and the HIV program in particular. The two-day conference was an important opportunity to exchange global experiences that focus on the need to support the medical sector in all societies and to provide the best advanced medical care for HIV patients. Marking the 20th anniversary of the issuance of the trade union's law in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Minister of Labor Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan affirmed that trade union in the Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the most prominent labor gains that have been achieved within the comprehensive development process which was laid down by His Majesty the King. The minister stressed that the trade union has witnessed a great development thanks to the support of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister which contributed to enriching the system of union work and the success of efforts to promote the rights of the workforce. He noted that the achievements made by trade union under the trade union's law contributed to giving the kingdom a distinguished international position in terms of uh, compliance with international standards and agreements issued by specialized international bodies. The Minister of Labor pointed to the professionalism and independence of union work in Bahrain, which is on the verge of its third decade, stressing that the kingdom's experience is moving confidently towards prof professional union practice. Marking the 92nd National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, attended the reception held at the uh, permanent mission of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the presence of members of the Kingdom's delegation headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Prince Faisal bin Farhan al Saud. The Foreign Minister congratulated Saudi Arabia and its people, expressing his pride in the relationship between the two countries and its development in various fields. He also highlighted Saudi Arabia's wide-ranging achievements, wishing the Kingdom further success and prosperity. Parody. On the sidelines of the 77th session of the UN General Assembly, Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani met at the United Nations headquarters in New York the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. During the meeting, they discussed aspects of joint cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations and specialized agencies and ways to advance bilateral cooperation in various fields, issues on the agenda of the United Nations General Assembly, and ways to promote international cooperation to address the challenges facing all countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the joint ministerial meeting between the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the countries of the Cooperation Council, the GCC, and the Russian Federation, which was held at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The GCC side uh, was headed by Saudi Foreign Minister, Chairman of the current session of the Ministerial Council of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Prince Faisal bin Farhan al Saud, and Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, in the presence of GCC Secretary General, Dr. Naif al Hadraf. During the meeting, the the two sides discuss aspects of cooperation between the GCC states and the Russian Federation in various fields and reviewed areas of developing joint action based on the mechanisms of strategic dialogue and the executive program or work program launched in November 2011. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Federative Republic of Brazil, Carlos Albert Franco Franca, during the meeting. The two sides discussed the friendly relations between Bahrain and Brazil, which are based on mutual respect, stressing their keenness to promote further cooperation between the two countries. They also discussed a number of issues of common interest on the regional and international arenas. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Business and uh, Diaspora Relations of Dominica, Kenneth Darrow. The two sides reviewed the progress of bilateral cooperation at all levels during the meeting. They discussed ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields and move it forward towards border horizons to serve the interests of the two friendly countries and achieve their common aspirations as well as a number of issues of common concern. A joint a statement was signed regarding the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs met the Minister of South Asia, North Africa, the United Nations and the Commonwealth at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, Lord Tariq Ahmed. The two sides reviewed the progress of bilateral cooperation and joint work at all levels and their constant aspirations to further develop them. They also discussed topics of common interest. The meeting was attended by the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faraz Arouei, and the delegation accompanying the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif and Rashid Zayani, met the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Madagascar, Richard Radrimandrato. They reviewed bilateral cooperation in various fields and discussed a number of regional issues of common interest. A joint statement was signed regarding the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. The meeting was attended by the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faraz Arouei, and the delegation accompanying the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif and Rashid Zayani, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States of America, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the joint ministerial meeting between foreign ministers of the GCC countries, Jordan, Egypt, Iraq, Yemen, and the United States of America. They discussed the outcomes of the Jeddah Security and Development Summit with the participation of Their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries, His Majesty the King of the Hashemite the Kingdom of Jordan, the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Iraq, the President of the Republic of Yemen, and the President of the United States of America. The ministers also discuss aspects of bilateral cooperation in various fields and ways to enhance them to consolidate the foundations of security development and stability in the region and achieving the aspirations and goals of the participating countries. The ministers reviewed the latest political and security developments on the regional and international level. Discussed also, or discussions also included ways to intensify cooperation and joint coordination to confront the various challenges that threaten regional and international peace and security. The Minister of Industry and Commerce and Chairman of the Gulf Airs Board of Directors, Zaid Zayani, expressed pride for the success of the carrier strategy, evident by winning a prestigious award at Skytrax World Airline Awards 2022. The Minister said that the achievement was made possible due to the commitment, determination and passion of Gulf Airs workforce and management team who are relentlessly working towards the airline's future, which is one of the main attributaries of the Bahraini economy and one of its assets for transport and tourism. The world World's most improved airline is a key award that reflects the airline's quality improvement across the entire world airline awards program, evaluating an airline's change in the global rating and their performance improvements in different award categories. Gulf Air, the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain, announced today the airline was named the winner of the world's most improved airline at the Skytrax World Airlines Awards 2022 held at the Langham Hotel London. The award comes as a testament to Gulf Air strategy, strategy success, which the airline revealed in 2018, which aims at being more customer-centric and becoming the airline of choice in the region. The World Airline Award began in 1999 when Skytrax launched its first global annual airline customer satisfaction survey. Over 100 customer nationalities participated in the 2021-2022 survey and travelers across the globe take part each year in the world's largest airline passenger satisfaction survey to decide the winners. Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Minister Wa'al bin Nasr al Mbarak has affirmed Bahrain's unwavering resolve to continue providing all kinds of support for Bahraini farmers to enhance the progress of the agricultural sector being an essential element of food security in the kingdom, calling for concerned efforts to develop the sector to serve the national food security strategy. The minister who met the Bahrain Agricultural Cooperative Society President Mohammed Mehsan Ali and members highlighted the key role played by the Bahrain Agricultural Cooperative Society as an essential partner to the municipalities affairs and agricultural ministry in implementing initiatives to boost the food industry 
in the kingdom. Minister Alan Barak discussed uh, the formation of a joint working group between the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture and the Bahrain Agricultural Cooperative Society to hold periodic t meetings aimed at providing the necessary support to Bahraini farmers. The minister was informed about the remarks of the president and members of the Bahrain Agricultural Cooperative Society president and their suggestions to support farmers and the challenges they face, stressing that the ministry's doors are open to receive any comments or proposals that would improve the support and services provided to Bahraini farmers. The International Monetary Fund predicted that the gross domestic product of the Kingdom of Bahrain will reach more than $44 billion by the end of the year 2022. The fund clarified that the rise in the GDP confirms the success of the economic recovery plan adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain in addition to the rise in oil prices during the current year. IMF said that the Arab Gulf countries were able for the first time to join the list of the strongest economies in the world thanks to the recovery programs implemented by governments to diversify sources of income. The International Monetary Fund stressed that the Gulf economy has proven its ability to adapt to all global economic conditions so that the countries of the region can enter the list of the top 10 economies in the world. A delegation from the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority participated in EPEX exhibition and conference held in Dubai recently. This participation aims to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain and enhances its position as an ideal and leading tourist destination in the field of events, weddings, meetings, conferences and exhibitions. Representatives of the Authority and the Bahrain International Exhibition Center held meetings with major international organizing companies specialized in the field of weddings, exhibitions, conferences and participating international tourism companies to learn about their experience in promoting exhibitions and conference tourism. The Kingdom of Bahrain is distinguished by its distinguished tourism in the region.